Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega House Variable Action Heroes One Piece Tony Tony Chopper figure. So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the variable action heroes Tony Tony Choppa figure. Now he is one of my favorite characters from the show and he always has me cracking up in the anime. But for this figure there's certain aspects to it that are good and some that aren't. We will get into that but I mean who doesn't want to own a Chopper figure in their One Piece collection. But anyway let's get into the review and start off with the packaging full Choppa. So pretty basic packaging for Mega House's One Piece line. I do get like a birthday cake type of feel off the style of it because the main colors are like baby blue, white, pink, and yellow. So it does remind me of a birthday cake. We do get the window right there. It says One Piece, Toy Animation, and Image of Chopper there. The bottom says Tony Tony Chopper and Mega House. And then the bottom of it is the barcode and blah 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 stuff that nobody cares about. We do get Image of Chopper there. It says Variable Action Heroes, Tony Tony Chopper. And then the top of it says Variable Action Heroes, Wanted, Dead or Alive, 50 Berries. I'm wondering if that's 50,000, because that's pretty cheap, only 50 Berries for Chopper. The side of it says the same thing as the front. We do get an image of Chopper there on the bottom. And then the other side of it is the continuing image from the front of the box. Then we get another picture of Chopper there, and then some pretty cool artwork. And then the back of it shows a bunch of different poses you can get the figure into, along with some of his accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Well, let's get this open and take a closer look at Chopper. Alrighty, so taking a closer detailed look at Chopper here, and man, Mega House killed it with this figure. I'm really digging the sculpt and the paintwork. The paint shading looks great on it. We'll start at his hat here, and it's a very nice blue color. You just see beautiful paint shading all throughout it, so very nice work on that. We do get the straps here on the side. The one side does have the buckle, which is a silver paint or silver color, so looking pretty nice. And this is probably the best part of the hat, the rim, uh, the red parts. Because all that little sculpt work in there just looks amazing. And the paint shading just looks so damn awesome. I mean, they did a very nice job with just the rim of the hat. And we do get the white for uh, the white dots here, then going around this part there, and then for the X. I think they could have put another coat of white going around the... Uh, the red part right here and then on the X because it's not as bright as the dots and it, the dots are sculpted same with uh, around here as well and the X so very nice work just on the hat alone I really love the paint shading on the red though I mean that just looks beautiful and then we do get his antlers here get some nice paint shading on them they are brown as you can see his ears are connected to it but yeah and he the left antler does have that like uh, metal um, that middle piece going around it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like an earring for his antler or something. I don't know why he has that. If anybody knows, feel free to comment it in the comments below. But uh, the other antler right there on the right looks just as good as the one on the left. Just doesn't have that uh, metal piece going around the antler. So uh, great work just on the hat and the antlers. We'll get into the face when we get into the accessories. But they did do a nice job on the face sculpts. Let's take a look at the body, arms, and legs here. Um, around his neck we do see some of his fur there with some little sculpt work going in it. Same with on his arms and on his hooves as well, so nice work on that. And then we do get, um, like a nice uh, gray color for the end of his hooves there. And then we do get the tiny dots. They are sculpted on there too. They're not just painted on there, so nice work on that. And then we do get a shirt, which looks nice. It's a uh, striped yellow and white shirt. And then we do get like a, uh, Looks like a gray or a black line going around the collar, but I really like how they did the paint shading on the uh, yellow. As you can see at like the ends, it's darker and then it gets like brighter in the middle. I mean that that just looks great. Even on the back, it looks pretty cool. As you can see there, and it does wrinkle up a little bit down by his lower stomach. We do get his backpack, and I'm really digging the sculpt work of like the wrinkles going around there. And then we do get a button right there so he can close it. And we do get very nice paint shading all throughout it as well. Whoops, his leg or foot fell off. And then we do get the X 
the white X on there as well. So nice work on just the backpack also. We do get his orange pants. Very nice paint shading in them as you can see. Same with around the legs as well. And then his legs and hooves again. We do get some sculpted lines for his fur and everything. So nice work on that. And then we do get that nice gray color for the end of the hooves. And then on the bottom as well. So overall they did a very nice job with the detail on this figure. One problem I have though, his left leg keeps popping off at the joint right there. It'll probably do it when I get to the articulation, but um, overall I'm very happy with the paint and sculpt, and I'm really digging this figure so far. I think Mega House did an incredible job with the detail for Chopper, but anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we do get a decent amount of stuff included with Chopper, and I just took his hat off so when we get into the head scopes, we could get a better look at that one that's on the figure. But we do get a stand included with Chopper. I think that was pretty smart on Mega House's behalf, because he is a little hard to get him to stand on his own, but it can be done, as you can see right there. But just in case, the way you get it to clip onto the figure, you see the clip there, you just clip it onto the back of his hat, and it holds up Chopper perfectly fine. So pretty cool. They included that stand there, then we do get an extra pair of interchangeable arms, and this is his right arm right here, let me focus the camera, and then this is his left arm, as you can see, that's where the hinge is, you don't want that piece showing, so that'll be on the wrong side if you put it on his left arm, so it is his right arm, and this is his left arm there. This one is more like curved, why this one's a little like swervy looking, but pretty cool that they, that they did include an extra set of uh, interchangeable arms right there so we do get that and then we also get five interchangeable faces and it is always awesome when you get a bunch of interchangeable faces with a figure we get this one right here that comes on the figure out of the packaging which is a very happy smiling face sculpt so they did a nice job on that we do get his hair in the front right there nice paintwork going around the uh, black for the eyes right there then the black line going around the around the eyes and then the white there we get his eyebrows his blue nose, nice sculpt and paint for the mouth and everything, so pretty cool looking. And uh, nice paint shading on the head sculpt as well, as you can see. And I tell you, uh, Mega House does a very nice job with paint shading. And there is like sculpted lines all throughout the head sculpt to show that he is a furry animal. So we do get that one there. Then we get this one here, which is very similar, where his eyes are all lit up. Because he sees something he likes and he's like overly excited. You get a nice sculpt work of his hair right there in the front. And then we get sculpt work all throughout the uh, head sculpt. It's very subtle, but you can see it just to show that he is furry. But nice uh, paint shading as well. Nice paint for the eyes, eyebrows, the blue nose, and a uh, nice sculpt for the mouth and everything. So nice work on that one. And the way you interchange the antlers, you just pop them out, and then you just pop them in the new head sculpt. Simple as that. And then we get this one right here where his eyes... Uh, look like stars to me and he's kind of blushing so nice work on that we get the pink for the blush yellow for the eyes there nice paint sculpt going all around this one as well and then we get some nice paint shading all around the head sculpt and then we do get those subtle lines and then we get his hair in the front right there so pretty cool that we get that one there and then the other one is where he's uh it's where he's like, oh, stop. Like when he's kind of getting getting embarrassed and you're making him feel good about himself, that's this head sculpt right here. And there's the uh, sculpted hair right there. These subtle sculpted lines, nice paint shading going all throughout it. And then his eyes are closed, nice paint sculpt just on the face sculpt right there. So we get that one. Then the last one here is the serious chopper is going to kick your ass face sculpt. This one's probably one of my favorites. I mean, I love them all. I mean, who, who, who doesn't love Chopper, you know? Uh, we do get the uh, hair right there in the front, the subtle sculpted lines to show that he is furry. Some nice paint shading going all throughout the head sculpt. I do have a little bit of blue paint on there, so that's kind of annoying. But a uh, nice paint sculpt around the eyes and the mouth and everything. The line right there looks a little, uh, like they kind of missed it a little bit. But uh, anyway, that is all the accessories included with Chopper, which is a pretty good amount, and I am happy with it. But anyway, let's keep moving on with the review. And the way to take off his hat or interchange the faces, you just unpeg the antlers like so. And you could just pull the hat off, or you could slightly uh, pull the sides out by the straps, and his head will just pop out like so. 
It is as simple as that, but just wanted to show you that really quickly. Let's continue on. So now for the height of Chopper, he stands just shy of three inches tall, and then here he is compared to... The Variable Action Heroes Dracul Mihawk figure, the Variable Action Heroes Ace figure, and the Variable Action Heroes Nami figure. And then here he is compared to... The SH Figure Arts Monkey D. Luffy figure, and the SH Figure Arts Nami figure. And then here he is compared to... Some other short characters, the SH Figure Arts Golden Frieza figure, and the SH Figure Arts Krillin figure. And then here he is compared to... The SH Figure Arts Awakening Warrior Super Saiyan Goku figure, and the SH Figure Arts Premium Color Super Saiyan Vegeta figure. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now, moving on to the articulation, we get some okay movement with this chopper, especially for it being a much smaller figure. We get some nice movement at the head. I think it's on a double ball joint. It's on a peg, and then uh, a ball joint connects into the head, and then into the uh, lower neck right there. But with the backpack on, he does, his head articulation does get hindered a little bit, going uh, back and forth. You get some pretty good pivot, and it does swivel as well. Now, without the backpack, the forward and back movement for the head is a lot better without the backpack on. And you can see, you do get some very nice movement at that neck joint. It does pivot a lot better without the backpack as well. That is a problem I keep having with the figure that is annoying the hell out of me. His leg, left leg, keeps popping off at the ball joint. So that really is annoying. I have to keep putting it back in all the time. But uh, for the arms... They are just on a uh, peg and a hinge, so you can swivel them and they hinge up and down. Same with the hoofs on the hand. They just swivel because they're connected in with a peg and they are on a hinge as well. Now for the legs, as I just showed you, it's just connected to a ball joint, so they go forward a little bit. To the back, just a little bit. Out to the side, a pretty decent amount, and they do swivel as well. Now for the hoofs on the feet, just like the ones on the hand, they do swivel and they hinge. So that is the articulation for Chopper, uh, which is okay. I wish it was a little bit better, but I think they did a good job for for what it is, for what size this figure is. So I am pretty satisfied with the articulation. But overall, I do recommend this figure to any One Piece fan if you love the Variable Action Heroes figure line or if Chopper is one of your favorite characters. Definitely pick this one up without a doubt. It is an excellent addition to the One Piece collection, so I do recommend this. A few minor issues I have with the figure is he doesn't stand on his own too well. Another one is that left leg keeps popping out of the joint way too easily, and it gets extremely irritating. And last, the articulation. I feel like they could have added a few more points here and there on this piece. I mean, I guess it's okay for how small the figure is. They worked in some pretty good movement, but I know they could have done a better job with it. But other than those minor flaws, Mega House really did an incredible job with this chopper. Like I just said, the articulation is okay. We do get some dope accessories, a bunch of interchangeable faces and some other stuff, but the best part has got to be the detail. Mega House knocked it out of the park with the paint and sculpt. It looks phenomenal on this piece, and I'm very happy that I have this chopper now in my collection. And if you would like to get this chopper for your collection, he does retail for about 50 bucks, so he's a little more cheaper than the other figures in the line, but he is a little harder to find and he got a little more expensive, so I think he's around like 60 bucks right now. I got mine from Hobby Link Japan. You can also check with my buddy from agelessgeeks.com or you can join the Ageless Geeks Facebook group. But anyway, that is my review of the Variable Action Heroes Tony Tony Chopper figure. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and favorite the video too. And if you like to give it a thumbs up, if you don't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega House Variable Action Heroes. So it reminds me of a birthday cake. We do get the image, uh, uh, what the heck, along with another image of Chopper there. The, uh, what the heck was that? With his backpack on, he has hindered articulation. I just took his hat off so we could get a better look at that head sculpt right here. Right, blah, 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 and the way you get him to, for the, I believe this one right here is the left one, the one that's more hooked. 
And then the more, like, curvy line one is his right one. Oh, no, this is... Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, it would be... Damn it, son of a bitch.